The first thing that is so essential to understand about what it is to be us is that there is a way in which we can simply surrender into a mechanism that is going to bring us to that fulfillment. I don't think that there's anything more important for me to share with you than to say to you, don't listen to what I'm telling you. Listen to your strategy and authority. That is, any of the stages of transformation that are there in variable, whether it is dietary regimen or environment or beginning the process of experimenting with passenger consciousness, those are things that you can only approach when you're truly ready to approach them. It's one of the most important things to understand. Everybody has their timing. But in order to get anywhere in this journey, it is not just a matter of strategy and authority. Because frankly, it is not sufficient. It is sufficient to give you a better life than you had before. And it will certainly take you through seven years of deconditioning that will get you to a different place. But it isn't going to bring you the complete process. This what you and I, all of us are going into, is for those that are really ready to journey all the way to that place of awareness. It isn't for everybody. We are here to express our outer authority. It's something he says is so profoundly important to understand about outer authority. We are here to express outer authority. We're not here to lie by using our power to communicate in order to try and control our destiny and our future. This is the biggest shift, my friends, that I have seen happen between who I was 10 years ago and who I am today. I do not lie to try and get my needs met or pretend that I'm something different in order to get something from the other person. So I'm going to continue a quote from Ra here. He says, oh, outer authority is an extraordinary thing. It's what you get from me. And what you notice is that it's interesting, don't you? This is what outer authority is. It's not whether you agree or, or not, like it or not, whatever the case may be. I know that there are many, many expressions of outer authority that I will not necessarily agree with, but it doesn't mean that I will not respect it. And it doesn't mean that I won't be interested. It just means that somebody else's unique outer authority isn't something necessarily that I can grasp, but it still will be interesting. And it doesn't mean that the person who grasps it is ruled by it because we are beings who operate out of our inner authority, not based on somebody else's authority over us. This is a whole new kind of communication. It's a communication that is there to expand the consciousness field. We are in dire need of the expression of outer authority. We are in dire need of it. We really are. And that was from the external color book, which there's a lot of quotes in here from that, from Ra. So remember that when inner and outer authority, when the mind is no longer that decision maker, Mind is then able to express itself cleanly, without reason, without devious plan, without a hope that it's going to lead to this or that or the other. No, this is about the pure expression of the genuine capacity of this personality to filter the consciousness field and to express it. And that is something that becomes more and more clear. I know for me personally, the more I decondition and observe with awareness to my cognition, which is feeling, when somebody is approaching me wanting something or even just saying something in expectations or hopes that it's going to get them, uh, people to look at them a certain way, people to offer them help, particularly money, people to offer them you know, advantages, whatever, they, they set themselves up with this mask. Have you ever watched yourself do this? This is what it is so that this person will give me what I want. That is the strategic mind bullshit that I want you guys to witness and watch. Even if you notice yourself still speaking from it and you cannot admit the lie, watch it. Okay, watch it. Be aware 
come back home to your breath, your body, whatever your authority happens to be. Remember what your cognition is. Attune to that. Okay. When that happens, just breathe and watch. You don't have to change it. You don't have to fix it. Just breathe and watch. It is in the watching and the perspective that things change over time and your energy gets cleaner, clearer. You're filtering the consciousness field more purely without trying to get something that your mind thinks you want. Now, Rock Hall's outer authority, the highest state of consciousness. He says, for me, outer authority is the highest state of consciousness that's possible to be achieved in a bio form. There is no higher state of consciousness. There is only the potential of unique variations of that level of consciousness. It is far beyond what is called awakening or enlightenment. For me, enlightenment anyway, it's a seven-centered concept. So it is this seeing that is the greatest reward because it's not about being in a hurry or not. It's not about what you have to do or not. It's not about the way in which somebody else goes through this process. It isn't about any of those things because nothing is like you. Only you are the witness, only you. To be a witness of this kind of transformation is how you change your frequency. And the deeper you enter into the realm of the passenger, the quieter everything becomes. The backseat of my limo is soundproof, frequency proof in a way. It's very quiet in there still. It's something that comes out of the signature of any being. And all of that is something you cannot chase. You cannot claim. It's what I like about this process. It's what makes it so clean. You live it yourself. You live it one breath at a time, and you get to see it for yourself. 